Hi, Mira. Welcome to Flow with Mira. I'm going to take you through a beginner Pilates class today. This class is perfect if you have no to little Pilates experience. So let's come along. Let's go find our mat. We're going to start lying on our back. So let's go ahead and lie on the side and then roll onto your back and just allow your body to settle on the floor. Sometimes we have such a busy day before we're arriving on the floor here on the mat. So I'd like you to just take a moment. Just breathe in for me. And exhale. And just let your body relax back on the mat. Let's do two more times here in breath. Exhale. One more, just feeling your body melting into the mat. Okay, now I want you to take one leg up and hold it onto the knee and then bring the other leg up as well. And then we're going to do just simple hip rolls here. So we're going to compress the thigh bone to your chest and then we open the leg out to the side and bring them together. So we're just gonna do kind of like a stirring apart action within the hip joint. So we're gonna move the leg in and out and breathe naturally. Don't let the breathing sort of be too specific. I just want you to just breathe in whenever you need to and breathe out whenever you feel like to. And again, don't need to be too specific on where the pelvis needs to be just move the leg around and let's reverse that we're gonna move out and in and again breathing in naturally and i just don't want you to hold your breath okay so in breath circling the thigh bone exhale let's do one more round and exhale and then gently lower one foot down and then bring the second leg one down too and i want you to just bring your feet a little bit wider as wide as your pelvis just imagine how we can also glide the fingers through and see if you can reach onto your heel and just walk your feet a little bit more forward open your arms out to the side here and then we're going to just drop your legs towards me so this is my right i'm going to Tip my legs over to my right, and I'm gonna keep the left arm pressing down. Now I want you to think about the left hip pushing up off the floor, giving you a deeper stretch for the front of the hip here. And then retract that exhale and come back to the middle. And then knee will fall off towards the left side, the opposite side. You can turn your head over to your right shoulder. And I want you to bring the right pelvis, the right hip forward. So pushing forward as much as you can to intensify the stretch at the front of the hip. And then retract back to the center. Let's do one more each side. Over to me, the right side. And then we're going to press the left hip forward. Push up as much as you can and just enjoy the stretch. And then release back to center. And the last one over towards you. And then pushing the top hip forward. You can turn your head in the opposite direction there. And then retract back. And then return the leg back to center. And I want you to bring the feet a little closer. And at this time, we need to be a little bit more specific. Have the heel in line with the sitting bone. So the bottom bone. You can kind of approximately place your feet. Okay, it's a little bit closer than what you had before. Now I'd like you to place the heel of your palm on the front of the hip bone, and then the fingers will come to the front of the pelvis here. And we're gonna do some rocking. So again, we're not gonna be too specific how we rock. I just want you to just bring the lower back onto the floor so your bottom will come up and then we're going to rock away the lower back is going to arch more and the tailbone will come down and then we're just going to keep rocking so pressing the lower back and then arching the back pressing the lower back and arching the back and try not to be too aggressive in the movement so especially if you have a tight back just listen to your body be a little bit more sensitive and and yeah, just move according to what your body wants to do. So rocking and arching, rocking 
and arching. Let's do one more time, rocking and arching. And I like you to stop and find the in-between placement for the pelvis. Okay, so let's just say that will be your natural pelvis placement for now. Okay, now what we're going to do is to breathe. So I'd like you to inhale through the nose and exhale from the mouth. So as you inhale, I want you to feel the belly naturally expand into your hands, the lower belly that is. And then as you exhale, I want you to keep the placement of the pelvis and allow the belly to deflate away from your hands. And then I want you to deliberately pull in a little deeper towards your back without rocking the pelvis. So I like you keep the pelvis quite stationary there. So let's do it again. Inhale. We expand the belly into your hand naturally. You don't have to be aggressively pushing the belly out. And then exhale, feeling the belly retracting away from your hands and sort of like a fingertips going to weave to each other as you pull the belly deeper towards the spine. Again, we're gonna inhale. I'm gonna come forward towards you so you see what actually is happening. So breathing in, you feel the belly filling into your hands and then exhale, you're going to feel the belly retracting away from your hands. You're going to deliberately pull a little deeper and you feel the fingers can sort of kind of whiff to each other. And then in breath, expanding the fingers are going to kind of pull away from each other. And then exhale, bringing the belly away from your fingers and then go a little deeper. You're going to feel that sort of abdominal tensing up. Again, in breath and exhale. You're pulling in, pulling away from your fingertips and you're pulling the fingers to each other. And I want you to keep the pelvis quite stable and we don't want any rocking, not just yet. Again, in breath, two more. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Actually, I'm going to ask you to continue. I'm going to move, bring myself to the mat. So let's do it again. In breath, breathe into your hands. And then exhale. Let's do one more with me. In breath, breathing into your hands. And then exhale, retracting away. Drawing in, drawing in, drawing in, drawing in. Now we have a quite a tense abdominal right now. Now what I want you to do, you can have your arms by the side or keep it on the front lower belly. Now we're gonna go deeper here. So we're gonna keep pulling the belly in and then this time we're gonna end up rocking it. So end up rocking the lower back down, imprinting the lower back and the bottom will come up. But I want you to have a nice kind of hollowing connection in abdominal there, and then release back to where your start position was. And then exhale, again, retract the belly, tensing up the belly a little bit more, and then bring in the lower back into the floor, imprinting it. So now your pelvis is higher on the pubic bone and lower on the hip bone. And then we're gonna release back, inhale, go back to your start position, two more. Exhale. Abdominal drawing in to imprint the lower back. Bottom comes off. Inhale, retract. Last one. Exhale. Using abdominal to imprint the lower back. And then inhale. You start positioned. Now, again, we're going to pull in the belly and imprint the lower back. And I want you to Keep the abdominal pressure downward towards the lower back and keep the lower back down on the floor. Again, you can keep your hands on the front of the belly or keep your hands by the side. And at this time, I want you to lift the right heel off the floor, keep the abdominal in, and then we're gonna load that abdominal by bringing the right leg up to what we call a tabletop here. And with this action, I want you to contain the belly in and not lose that connection of lower back on the floor. So as if the belly is the only one that is working at this point. We're gonna lower the leg down without losing the connection abdominal. And then exhale, pull it in. 
Inhale, I'm thinking pulling my abdominal towards my lower back and then and pull it up again. Inhale, I'm loading the abdominal, loading the abdominal. I'm not gonna let my lower back comes off the floor and come back up again. One more, lower down. And a lift up. And lower the leg down. And let's release the pelvis back to your start position again. Exhale, we draw the abdominal in and bring the lower back down and keep that lower back on the floor. And we're gonna lift the right heel up, breathe out. Load the abdominal, do not let the belly jolt out and bring the leg up. Lower down in breath and then exhale. Inhale, lower back stays in contact with the floor. Exhale and in breath, pulling in deep as the leg go away from the belly. Exhale, one more and exhale. We then take the foot down and we release the pelvis back to that neutral. Okay, we do that again. Now exhale, we're gonna draw in and imprint the lower back again with the abdominal. Lift the right heel up, float the right leg up, hold. This time, the left heel comes up, we're gonna load the abdominal a little bit more, bringing that leg up without losing the abdominal connection. So it's quite heavy in abdominal now. We lower the other leg down, the first leg down, that is your left leg, to where a certain point where you can still contain the abdominal in without letting go, and then we're gonna pick it up again. And we lower, 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 keep the pulling the belly in, and then bring it up again. Again, lower the other leg, so keep alternating leg, and up. Again, we're gonna still try to keep that lower back in contact with the floor. And we are thinking it's just the abdominal is gonna work to lower and lift the leg, which is actually physiologically not correct, but we wanna feel, feel like it's just pure abdominal. And lift, and the other side, and lift. One more each side. And lift. And the last one. And lift. Grab the legs, press the thigh bone to your chest, and then release one foot, second foot, and return your pelvis back to your start position. Okay, now this time slip your fingertips underneath the lower back here. There should be a little gap there. Now I want you to maintain that placement of the pelvis. So in breath, and then exhale, pull in the abdominal there. Now I want you to lock the abdominal there. Now lift the right heel up. We're gonna do that leg lift again. So I'm gonna lift the leg up, keeping your pelvis in that natural curve of that spine here. So your lower back will be in contact with your fingers, but you're not pushing down into your hands. And then we lower the leg down. And we'll lift again. And then inhale. So we are still going the same concept that the whole abdominal is holding in towards the lower spine as you lower and lift the leg. And we're not letting the abdominal muscle to expand out and we lose that curvature of the lower spine. One more and lift, and we lower down. And then the other side, breathe in, breathe out, wrap the abdominal in, and float the heel up, and here we go, up. We lower down, exhale, and lower down, exhale. So we're trying to maintain the pelvis placement and we're working on containing the abdominal towards the spine. But this time, we're honoring the curve of the lower spine. One more. And then lower. And let go of the belly. And exhale. Wrap the belly in again. Keep the hands underneath the lower back. Your lower back in contact with your fingers. And then lift one leg up. And I want you to load the abdominal even more and bring the other leg up without pushing the belly out. Okay, now we're gonna lower the first leg down. In breath, bring it up. Lower the second leg down. 
in breath. Let's keep alternating side, in breath. And the other side, let's do one more each side, load the abdominal and do not let the belly push out. And last one, keep that lower spine in contact with your fingers and bring it up and then bring the thigh close to your chest, grab the leg and just hug it. Well done. All right, let's lower one foot. Second, turn yourself towards me. I like you to bring the underneath arm long underneath your ears. And I want you to stack the legs together, knees are together, feet in line with your pelvis here. Top hand here, and I like you to just slouch yourself down. Now from here, belly can just hang up for a second. Now exhale, we're gonna work it. We're gonna pull in and lift the underneath waistline. So we got a nice, beautiful straight line of the spine, and then we're gonna sway down again. And two more, we're gonna pull in the waist, pull in the lower abdominal, mid abdominal, and keeping the spine long. And a lower and hang, one more. Exhale, lift, 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 and then we're gonna keep the lift here. You can take the top hand on the pelvis here, pelvis to be stable too, and then moving on to our climb. We open the thigh bone and we close. And again, out and we close. Again, keeping this area nice and control. We're not rocking back and forward. You can use your hand here as a little tactile cue and close again three two and one okay extend the top leg long bring the bottom knee in front of you now here i want you to again keep lifting the underneath waistline relax the ankle to top leg relax the ankle relax the foot slide internal there and i want you to lift the leg up only to a certain point where you can keep this pelvis very stable. So again, no rocking on the waistline. Waistline is nice and lifted and the pelvis is nice and stable. It's just the leg lifting up and down. And so we're working on hip stability here. Three more, two, one. Let's hold it up there into a floppy foot here. We lift the leg up without disturbing the placement of the waist and the pelvis. So contain the pelvis and move the leg up and down. Again, five, four, three, two, last and hold it up there. Little pulse, lift a little higher. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Release and bring the leg in. Top hand in front of you. Help yourself up. Push up and lift the underneath arm up. And a little quick side stretch here. And let's do it again on the other side. So we have long underneath arm. Legs stacked together. Knees are bent. Feet in line with the pelvis, top hand in front, and let the waist flop down for now. And then we're going to pick it up, draw in tight, and lower. Again, pick it up, and lower. And lift. Let's do one more. And lift, and let's stay up there. Top hand to the hip here, and we open. We close. We open. We close. Again, maintain the stability of the pelvis and the waist. No rocking back and forward. And just moving the leg out and in. Three more. This is called the clams. Two. Last. And release. Top leg straighten up. Bottom foot forward and let's go. Internal at the hip joint and floppy foot. We go up and lower. Lift, lift, 
It can only go to a certain height where you can still maintain the pelvis and we're not swaying the waist down. Movement, not from the waist, but from the hip. Four more. Three. Two. Last one, we stay up. Little pulses to the top. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, last one. Bring it down. Bring the leg in. Hand forward. Push off the floor. Bottom arm up. Reach up to the sky and a quick side bend. And release. Okay, let's go back onto our back again. Roll to your side. Then roll onto your back. We are going to stretch our gluteal muscles, the muscles of your bottom. So pick up your right leg. Right ankle resting on the left thigh. Reach through the gap in the leg with the right arm and the left arm going to the side of the thigh. Grab the back of your left thigh here. Now I'd like you to press the thigh to your chest with your hands and then push the right thigh bone away with the right elbow. Glide the shoulders away from your ears and then use your arm muscle to pull in a little bit more but your bottom should not be rocking up like so. Release the bottom and let it chill down on the floor. And here, we're just gonna in breath. Exhale, you should feel that glute muscle, the bottom muscle stretching here. And an in breath, if you can go deep, deeper, pull the thigh bone a little closer to your chest and push the right thigh away from your shoulder. In breath, exhale, one more. And let you go, we switch leg please. We have the left leg up, ankle on the right thigh, reach through the gap, right arm on the outside, left elbow pushing the thigh away and the thigh bone, the right thigh towards your chest. And allow the bottom to stay chilling down on the floor and try not to curl up. We in breath. Exhale, perhaps you can go a little deeper and push the thigh bone away with the elbow and the shoulder stays nice and open here. Again, go deeper into the stretch. One more. And then let it go, release the leg, one, two. Okay, now we go back to the supine position. So heel in line with the sitting bone here and I want you to recruit the abdominal and honor your lower spine here. So there is still a gap underneath the waistline. Now from here, lift the right heel up, pick up the right leg to a tabletop. Extend the right leg forward but keep the abdominal contained towards the spine. Glide the leg back in. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, our tendency is to go with the leg and arch the lower back, away with it. But I want you to refrain from doing that and guide your lower back or guard the lower back with the abdominal muscle as you extend the leg away and you pull in. Two more, extend away. Last one, extend, bring it in, and down the other side. And recruit the abdominal muscle, honor your lower back, lift the other leg up. We stretch out, inhale. Again, try not to rock the pelvis forward and backward as the leg come in and out. And if that's too challenging for you, perhaps you need to have the leg a little bit higher here. So I'd like you to work for this, work hard, but not to the extent that your lower back is arching away. Last one, and bring it in. Now, a little bit more challenge here. Load the abdominal a little bit more and bring the other leg up to tabletop. Again, do not over arch your back. You can, if you like, to imprint the lower back down and keep the lower back resting on the floor. What we're gonna do is extend one leg forward and bring it in. So I'm giving you option. You can do this with an imprinted back or 
stay in a neutral pelvis and a neutral spine. If you find it challenging for you to maintain the curve in the lower back and straining your lower back, I suggest you imprint the lower back onto the floor so your tail one is slightly tucked under and just find an angle that works for you today that you feel the work is in abdominal and not straining the lower back or the neck. I'm gonna leave it to you, you choose one version that works best for today. And let's do one more each side. Last one. And bring it in. Hug the leg to your thigh. Hug your leg to your thigh. Hug your thigh to your chest. All right, now from there, lower one leg down and second leg down. Okay, now moving on, we're gonna take the right leg up to tabletop. Grab the back of your thigh here. All right, we're going to flex the foot and press the heel up to the sky and extend the leg. So you're going to feel a lot of sensation in the back of your thigh here. We're going to bend the knee again. Exhale, again, pulling in the abdominal as you push up and we bend. And two more, pull in and last one. And press, press, press and stay. Arm long by the side. I want you to stabilize the pelvis here. Let's bring the leg across the body and down away, stay in parallel. Exhale, one round. Inhale, one round. Exhale, circle, one round. Now the idea here to move the leg around in a circle without losing the pelvis stability again. So, in breath, one, exhale, and stay, reverse. We go out, down, exhale, shh. inhale, exhale, shh. inhale, exhale. Shh. So, Pilates is about control and being aware of what your body is doing and center. Bend the knee, take it down, let's switch. Grab the other leg, flex the foot, and we stretch out. And because we own this body, so might as well, we get to know it very well. And reach out, so we can be stronger and healthier together. And last one, and we stretch, stretch to your maximum ability, even if your leg is shaking, let it be. It's progressing to getting stronger. Right, now we're gonna take the arms along by the side, ready for the circle, we go across the body, down, around, and then exhale, inhale. Now the circle doesn't have to be wild, it can be rather small, so I'd really like you to focus on creating a stability in the pelvis area, so we can create more mobility in the hip joint. And then reverse out, in breath, exhale, in breath, exhale. And try to make that circle rather smooth. And in breath, and exhale one run, last set. And exhale, and let's bring it in, and let's bring it down. All right, turn your body towards me again. Bottom arm again is long, but this time both legs are straight. Heel in line with the pelvis, top hand here. Now already I wanted to pick up the bottom waist here. Now we're gonna use that abdominal muscle to lift the legs up. So we're gonna use the top oblique to lift the legs up and the bottom waist is going to be lengthened, not collapsing down, still active, but long lower. Again, lift. You can use the top hand to help you stabilize the body. And three more. Lift. Lower. Two. Make sure this inner thigh is working. The legs are together. Last. And bring it down. Bend the knee. Push up. Over to the other side. Arm long, leg straight, heel in line with the pelvis, and pick up the bottom waist. And here we are, lifting and lower. The top waist is going to recruit your leg up and lengthen the bottom waist. And 
and use the thigh muscle to help you too. Let's keep them together. Last one. And lift, 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 lower. All right, onto our front here. We're going to bend the elbows, forearm resting on the side of the ribs. Legs are straight underneath you. Okay, sending the sitting bone down and your tailbone down to your feet. Pressing the feet gently and actively onto the floor. Now we're going to glide the shoulder blade and think about drawing the forearm towards the elbow and your feet as we're going to lift the head, the upper back, the middle back into an extension here. Allow your neck to stay long and the gaze is still on the floor but slightly further away in front of you. And we lower the chest down again. We inhale, reaching forward to the crown of the head and up using the back muscle to help you up and not using the arm to push yourself up and we lower so we're thinking about arching up gliding forward and up and exhale down two more and gliding the chest forward and up exhale come down just watch your leg make sure they are active and the feet are still quite close to each other and exhale it down. Now this time, reach your arms to the side here, long. Again, same motion, we're gonna lift the back up, arms close to the thighs and come on down. Just give me two more here, inhale, reach forward and up, arms to your side of your thigh, nice and close. Exhale, come on down, one more. Inhale, lifting up, forward, up, forward, and come on back, well done. Bend the elbows again, forearm onto the floor. This time you're gonna push off the floor with the forearm and run to back. Then send your bottom <coughs> towards the heels and sit onto your heels. Keeping the arms nice and long here. <coughs> excuse me, and pulling in your center and then just staying in this rest position for me, please. Let's just breathe. Inhaling through the nose. I like you to inhale as long as you can and expand the back of the rib cage as much as you can. Exhale through the mouth. Two more, inhale. As long as you can, exhale as long as you can as well. One more. Good job. And now just gently roll yourself up to an upright sitting position and stay nice and long well thank you that was excellent work from you and thank you for moving with me today and i hope you have a lovely class and i will see you back on the mat tomorrow for another class and have a lovely day take care Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos Focus on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comment and subscribe and turn on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.